How's it going guys? Welcome back to Gaza's Koi Pond. We've come out for a day's visit and we've come down to have a walk around and a look around this place. It's the uh, Japanese water garden. So without further ado, I'll get us inside, have a look around and let you see what you think. Catch us in a tick. So guys, I thought we'd have a quick look through, have a look at some of the goldfish and the cold water fish, some of the fancy goldfish, some of the fan tails. Lovely clean tanks, some nice quality fish, again some slightly bigger fan tails again there, goldfish and chabubkins, oh. An axolotl uh, just down in there as well. Again, plenty of uh, ornamental pieces. I have some of these in my in my tropical tank. What's lovely? Aquatic rocks. And I really want to get myself some of these because I think this dragon stone is absolutely beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's dragon stone. Yeah, it is dragon rock. I'm half tempted to uh, to get some of this and have a, a redo on my tank because I like that. Some granite rock work, and we've got uh, a few loach of some description there, and they look like grass carp, I think. Of, uh, the, the, back, the, back, the back's a bit too shallow though. Yeah. Yeah, it's Partly uh, bigger ones there. Yeah. Some nice ones in here, does. Yeah, look at the pandas. You see these yeah. little pandas here? Oh, they're nice. I wanted something for ages. Oh, they've got some, uh, some pandas there. That's a nice one with a wen on its head. Yeah. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I wonder how big they grow, though, in comparison to... That's a nice one. They've got a reasonable size. Yeah, the black got moles are good. Scales on I like the that one. That one's nice. A nice little... Uh, different coloured patterns to him. So a bit, little different. Yeah, that's a nice rider, kid. You saw that one, that's a nice one. Well, that is a nice, nice, yeah, that's got a nice pattern, hasn't it? Yeah. See that one there, the red one, just in this one here. Yeah, it's real strong. Yeah, it's got, got a very high raised up back as well, aren't it? Yeah, that? yeah, that, that's what you look for. We might be going over there. To be successful spawning this morning. Yeah, yeah, well, it's another thing to touch on when we've finished and we've had a look round on here. We will also be going back to Dazza Sky Farm. We're doing a bit more grading through on some of his fish. And he's also had some of his uh, fancy goldfish spawning today. So. And Mick's been hand spawning some Yeah, well. and uh, Mr. Lawson there was doing a bit of hand spawning right. and he showed me how to do it. Goldfish extraordinaire. Which was pretty cool. There's quite a lot of pandas in there, isn't there? There is, yeah. The hard part is picking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> picking, picking a nice one. Yeah. Different though, mate. I like them. Yeah. Never seen them before. No, the, the awesome. mine, no. <laughs> mine make these look like babies though. Mine, mine, are, mine, are, mine literally <laughs> fit in like a size of a tennis ball. They really have grown. I want to get some tabahasses. Yes, they do. So we've got nice. uh, a whole selection of potted plants as well. 
different forms of uh, flora grow, fertilizers and such. And I'm, I'd love to try do this as well. Growing some of the like, carpet mosses across the bottom of the tank. I'd love to have that, but oh, look, a little marine tank as well. A beautiful little fish in there. I love to see these. Corals, They're absolutely beautiful. A few more. Clean a shrimp. I'm not so up on my uh, the uh, salt water side of things, but they are beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look at the colours on that. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, that one was quick. <laughs> Stunning. So we'll have the again the bog woods ornamentals into the tropicals. I love the discus there. And some uh, Bristle nose pleck in there somewhere it says, but I can't see it. Some fire mouth cichlids down there. Again, very clean taps. The Grammys. Corridoris. Molly's little red shrimp in there. Cardinal tetras with them. A couple of camel loach and some more platters. Some black mollies, white mollies. Spotted mollies or Dalmatians. Angels. Malawi cichlids. A Malawi cichlid there which is uh, got a bit of an injury. But it looks like it's healed up. Green barbs. Tiger barbs. Rosy barbs. White widows, black widows, ember tetras, glow lights. Nice selection, good selection of tropicals. Nice uh, female beta there, in fact, a whole cluster of them down there. Odessa barbs, giant danios. Now these are nice. These do get big, but they are beautiful when they do. Some golden longfin zebra danio. Oh, probably one of my favourites as well. Cloud mountain minnows. Some corridors just in there that blend in really well with the background. We'll move round to the uh, outdoor section. Get back to anything. Right, looking around the store, they've got pretty much everything in here. You've got uh, aviaries and bird cages. I believe inside here there is bedding, budges, fairies, reptile section. Absolutely everything. Pretty cool. One stop shop for everything by looks. Water features. Hutches. 
food bowls for all your reptiles, ornamental plants, plastic plants. Absolutely all sorts. Tropical fish, goldfish food. Medias, carbons, cartridge filters and such. Nice little ornament there with some uh, sea horses in. Air pumps, you name it. They pretty much got everything. Tanks, selections and stands. Pretty cool. I like a shop like this. When you can come round and pretty much get everything and anything all in, in one spot. Bulbs for your tropical tanks, gravels and medias. <coughs> and then a ma massive steps up, step up to uh, a Nexus 320. <laughs> wow, that's one big filter. Damn massive these things. Uh, 1,260 quid with a discount. Brushes, pipe fittings. Which reminds me, I actually need to get a few bits and bats as well while I'm here. Um, I need a manifold. So I'll have to keep my eye out for one of them. Now oh, then, Jack Matting. I rang my local place to find out how much their Jack Matting was. And a full size sheet like this was 100 quid. And funny enough, theirs is 95. But it's a lot of money to pay for a not so much material. I think I'm going to have a look at the mountain tree stuff and see what they can provide, see what they stock. But yeah, pond skimmers, large sumps, shut off valves, isolation valves, gate valve. Wow, that's a big gate valve. 85 quid, that's one big gate valve. That looks like a four inch gate valve. Pond liners, and then we're into foods, shrimp, mealworms, silkworms, all mixed up packs. 10 quid for a tub of uh, freshwater shrimp, mealworms, and silkworms, I believe. Pretty good, that. Nishigai Kai food, staple. Growth, premium koi food, you name it guys, they've pretty much got everything here. General pond pellets, staging food, Nishigoi sinking, flake. This is what I started my fish on. First of all, when I first got them, slightly smaller pellet. Foams. Pond covers and nets. Small nets. For netting your fish up, obviously. Plenty of very good selection of all sorts, I mean. Profi Clear Premium Compact L. Three nine nine nine. Oh. Pump vats, pumps. I think these two are looking at a pump. I don't know if Daz is picking himself one up. <coughs> Quite possibly. Quite possibly. We're going to go look in a minute. We're going to go and have a look at some stunning koi in there. I'm going to pop outside shortly into this section area and have a look at the koi. But uh, little, little tortoise there. And another one tucked in there. A couple of little terrapins. Oh, these are cool. My daughter always wanted one of these. A little Timmy, MD Tropicals. If everybody watches this channel, you'll know what I'm talking about with Timmy. But look at them. They're so cute. They grow quick and fast though. <laughs> there you go. 
Beautiful. Hang it back to you, take one pop outside and have a look at these. So guys, right. Come out and have a look at some of their selection of the coin. And some uh, smaller selection of the coin here. We've got uh, 18 pounds each or five for 80 pounds. Nice little shisu there. Nice little fish. And again, a few more for the same price. And again, same price again. All these are smaller ones, by the look of it, uh, all for the same price. Oh, five for eighty pounds or eighteen pounds each. Nice little free step there. Slightly bigger, twenty-five pounds each, or five for one hundred and ten. And again, the same price on these ones. Now these or ones are uh, fifty pounds each, or five for two two five. A nice selection. Shishuis, kakus, garomos, asagis, sankis. So, so, so you, want, you want to have a closer look at them too, yeah? Nice selection of fish. Right, okay. Might look like a closer look at the two, uh, two young good girls I've watched in here. Okay, though. We're also here to have a look around uh, for a friend of ours who can't be here today. So we're, uh, we're going to have a look through and see if we can bowl him a few fish up, which we'll come back to when I've gone around all the rest of them. And there are a couple of Yamabuki organs in here that he's interested in. Just down there, the Ginren. And the. Uh, Great Yamabuki there as well. This lady, this, this lovely lady there is going to bowl them up for us. Yeah. We can have a look through them uh, and have a quick course look. I'll just quick pop over here to some of these smaller ones. We've got some pond fish, little goldfish. Again, goldfish and shabubkins. More goldfish. Slightly bigger ones. Slightly bigger shabubkins and some more slightly bigger ones there. I'll get back to you in a tick while we have a quick look at these fish for Mike. We've got a few uh, outdoor garden ornaments. That are marble, very nice. And a few more of their uh, bigger size fish, three for two nine nine. Or. 110 pounds each. Size wise, are all stepping up a little bit now. But again, some beautiful fish. One two nine or three for three four nine. Unfortunately, they're all tucked up right there at the back. It is a nice Ginrin uh, Asagi over there. That looks nice. Just in the back corner, just coming down there. Very nice. The guys are having a look at a couple of more fish. And Daz is having a look at one. And uh, there's one in there for, for Mike to have a look at. Heavily set female there. She's, she's, she's looking a, a bit whale. <laughs> 
and now the Buddha Garomo. What Mike is interested in. Two very nice fish. And obviously uh, 210 or 3 for 599, which at 16 and a half centimeters, 210 is a whole lot of fish. Sorry, 16 and a half inches. Sorry, my bad. It's a whole lot of fish. Well, that'd have been a good size 16 centimeters, that wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big fish for 16 cm. No, 16 and a half inch. Two very nice fish. Yeah. Some very bright eyes, aren't it? Yeah, they're yeah, both, the both yeah. have lovely blue eyes, aren't they? Yeah. You'll certainly see that when it comes up for some food. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's just having a think about uh, well, you, which I'll one that's his wild fish so I'll far that he's seen and he's had a look at. Have a think about it. Nice Ginrin Kaku cool there. Very nice. Yeah. Nice Benaki Kikuru there. Oh, wow. Again, nice Garomo as well. Right. Right. In fact, that's another nice Garomo there too. Ginrin Sanke. That's quite nice. And this one, uh, 159, 3 for 449, and then we've got the big ones, they're big fish, they're plenty of sizes, plenty of stock, plenty of different prices, also with a bit of discount because of the Queen's Jubilee, but we've got some very nice lemon harawaki there, like that, beautiful, and again, another nice one. Nice Benikikikuru again. Woohoo! You spooked him then. Actually made me jump that. <laughs> Big Kajaku. Platinum Oil gone. Mm, not so happy Kaku down there. Looking a bit clamped. Yamabuki there. Some good sized fish. And we've got uh, kind of prices so you can see hopefully that shows up. 499, 399, 500, 399. So everything from the 399 to 500 kind of mark. <laughs> That's nice, I like that one. Right down there, hopefully we'll see if we can get this one to come up. That's a nice fish. Very nice. Well, I don't know what it is about them, but they uh, they catch my eye. Some nice fish in here though, very much so. Yeah, some little beauties in there. We've uh, we've come down to uh, have a look around here today. And one of the main reasons why we've come down is to help a friend out. And the reason why we've come to help a friend out is because, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying, he isn't capable of coming and doing this thing himself. So we've come down to have a look at some fish, bowled a few up for him, until we've gone round and found his wild fish and one that he particularly likes. Because unfortunately, he's not in the position to be able to actually come out here and do this himself. He suffers from uh, agoraphobia, so it's difficult for him to actually do this kind of thing and get out there because when he's around people in public, it becomes quite difficult for him to do so. So, as me, Mick and Daz really enjoy coming around and looking at some fish and we all sort of need to pick up some bits and bats as well, we said we were coming. So we'd, we'd put the offer out there, do a little bit of a WhatsApp video for him and some live footage and let him have a look at them. And if he saw anything, then we'd arrange for it to get bowled up, let him have a look at it, 
picked up, bagged up, and if we were happy with it, shipped on over to his, his, his home address, which is exactly what we've done. So, without further ado, we'll have a quick more wander around the shop because there's a couple of little bits and bits I need to pick up for my filter system, and I'll get back to you in a little bit. See you soon. So guys, I managed to find myself what I was looking for, which was the last free uh, we've got myself an air distributor and three big stones and some several meters of airline, so which is pretty good. Uh, damn sight cheaper than what it would have been over by me. So I like to uh, spin camera around, let you have a quick look at this area, and we'll finish off in the shop and wrap it up. As, as you can see guys, we've got all the forms of treatment, everything that you could. Sludge answer, blanket answer, massive tubs, great big tubs as well. Full treatment, fluke P, Apple X, Learn X. Pond balls, pond like bombs, <laughs> you name it. Frazzled after you three have gone. <laughs> Tanks for uh, turtles, uh, snakes, turtles, I'm sure yeah. it's, uh, tortoises, and snakes and such, lizards. But yeah, they've, they've pretty much got everything, guys. It's a one stop shop. All the lighting, Baz went out of the door with his, with his new yeah. purchase. Mike, Mike in the background there that you can hear. Are you happy with what you got, Mike? Don't put him on camera. Are you happy with what you got, bud? And you're going with the bud of Garomo? Yeah, lovely, lovely office. Sweet, mate. Nice one. Glad you're happy, bud. So there you go. Heat mats. You name it, guys. Bulbs. They've actually stayed open for us as well, which is really nice of them. So we could have a good look round it and sort of fish out for Mike. Get him sorted out with some. But uh, what I've got to say, guys, is you should got to come down here and have a look around. They have absolutely everything you need, all under one roof. Good selection of stock, good selection of tropicals, cold water, reptiles, and even some uh, marine fish as well. So there you go, guys. That was the Japanese water garden. Always been. I mean, it's the Jubilee's bank holiday weekend and they've been good enough to stay open and they've stayed back behind so that we could do and that's find a fish for Mike. That's, that, you don't get that kind of service every day. We've got his paperwork and his receipt. I've got my bits and bats. Naz has got come out with some, Mick's come out with some, we've all walked out with something and that's the kind of service you should be getting. Get yourselves down here guys, come and have a look. Like I said, if you enjoy this kind of content, please do us a huge favour. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Keep smiling. See you all soon. Take it easy.